it's a really exciting day for Billboard. Um, I'm really proud of our work under the SRMG umbrella because this is where all the local insights, all the local expertise come through years of publishing and amazing storytelling capabilities. I'm also very proud to be working with Billboard Global. A lot of us have been raised on the Billboard Music Awards, but also that global experience that comes together with the SRMG experience to bring Billboard Arabia. That's why you're hearing the fastest growing, growing 50,000 every single month and more. Mostly, I'm also proud of my team. The team that's here with us today, that's really working day and night and weekends to celebrate fans because we are fans of artists and we are fans of music. And I want to thank obviously everyone who's, been, who's here with us tonight. And now I want to delve a little bit deeper to share the achievements that we've accomplished since we've launched. Since we've launched, we focused on being a celebratory platform for the Arabic music culture. This means it's all about telling artist stories, music stories, and covering events. This also means that we've covered over 100 artists. We started with Muhammad Abdo when we celebrated his 60-year jubilee. We celebrated Elisa when she did 25-year career milestone. We celebrated Eliana when she debuted at Coachella. We celebrated Al Shami when he was the youngest number one at the age of 21 or 22 to hit the number one, char the number one ranking on the chart. We celebrated Distinct as a Moroccan artist who started singing Moroccan on a, khila on a Khaliji Iqa. And many, many more stories, over 150 artists that have been celebrated so far. But beyond events, beyond storytelling in music and artists, we've also launched 10 charts. Charts that are based on data. Data from streaming services and video services from over 200 markets that are covered and uh, run through a company called Luminate that runs the global charts of Billboard. We brought the two charts that people love all over the world, Artist 100 for the top ranking artists and the Hot 100 of the top ranking songs. We celebrated the beauty and the diversity of our language through launching four dialect charts for Levantine, Khaliji, Egyptian, and Maghrebi. We also looked at what the young artists have been doing for the past decade and growing new genres and new sound beyond pop like Maharaganat and Shelat and Arabic hip hop and Arabic indie and more. 10 charts based on data from over 200 markets run by Luminate, same methodology as Verbal Global. Today, if we look at our socials, we're talking to over 10 million people every single month. 10 million people every single month and more and growing. Why, is this hap why did this happen so fast? For a simple reason. Because there was a very big gap in the market to have a single destination to talk about music. And that's what we built. And when we talk about a single destination, we're not a website, we're not a social media page, we're not an event, we are a brand. Billboard Arabia is considered a brand that's made for artists and for the Arabic music culture. If you don't follow our pages, choose, take your pick from any platform you use, whether it's X or Insta or Snap or Facebook, um, and follow us at Billboard Arabia. Today, we've garnered over half a million followers in just eight months. But this didn't, this didn't happen by chance. This actually happened by design. When we talk about being focused on artists and music culture, we create content for all platforms. We have a TV show that we've launched on Al Thaqafiya TV that celebrates the charts interviews artists every single week, and celebrates up and coming Saudi artists every week, it's must follow. We also are covering events, from events covered by Middle Beast, whether it's Soundstorm or Ballad Beast, or they give us the best parties, whether it's Benchmark, Rotana, Luxury, Riyadh Season, and everything in between. We've covered Nawazin, we've covered Carthage, we've covered Be Beirut Summer uh, Festival. If there's an event and an artist to celebrate, you'll find Billboard there. And not only that, we've also launched original content, Jalsat. Jalsat is a studio session, six artists and a musician, to celebrate music expression, to celebrate creating our favorite music in new ways so that we can keep enjoying songs through Billboard with the artists. We've worked with Ahmed Saad, Silawi, Saint Levant, and the next season is launching really soon, so please stay tuned. Our beautiful reporters, who you've seen on stage a while back, are relentless. 
They're everywhere, in every event, interviewing artists, and on social and on the web, telling stories and giving you the latest news. That's how we're growing. Beyond artists, people always forget that beyond the artists that we all love is a team, is a huge team. And we are also very celebratory on everything that makes the Arabic music happen and everything that's driving Arabic music to the global, to the global landscape. Not too long ago, a week ago, we celebrated the first Billboard Arabia 40 under 40 list to celebrate the young executives who we believe are going to build the music industry in the next decades. A lot of them are here. Congratulations on being listed. There are more announcements to come very soon, so I'll always say, stay tuned. All of that together has resulted in making Billboard, as Joanna just said, the fastest growing lifestyle and music platform in the region. So why are we here, really? Because it's showtime. And just Do you hear the silence? It's very important because I really want this moment to sink in. Two years ago when we met, we all spoke about what the music industry needed when it's the fastest region that's growing in the world. And just a few days ago, he went to number one on the Billboard 200 album. Thank you, Billboard. Billboards, thank you so much. Thank you to the Billboards. Billboard Awards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, today we're very, very happy, and I repeat it, and I know we said it, and we can't say it enough. We're very happy to be announcing, for the first time ever, for Arabic music in Riyadh, the Billboard Music Award edition, Billboard Arabia Music Awards. This happened in partnership with the Music Commission. The Music Commission, who's been seeing the vision of SRMG and Billboard, and who our visions have come together to really look at propelling the Arabic music culture. We want to thank them for believing in our vision and for being with us in this journey. The event will happen on December 11th. You can start putting it on a calendar from now. It's going to happen at the King Fahad Culture Center, and it's going to happen in Riyadh. Not only that, we will have celebrities with us, over 40 celebrities that are going to join us. There will be 15 performances of the best and top charting artists at the ceremony. We will have over 50 awards that are going to be given out. 30 or so awards are going to be given to artists who are going to be topping the charts. Whether you are a top female artist or top male artist, whether it's a top song or the top artist. We will have 15 awards that will be awarded for the music community, for the best songwriter, for the best producer, for the best composer, for the best record label. Everybody is going to be celebrated on that night. But there will be five awards that I will not talk about tonight because I want you to stay tuned to all the updates that are coming around Billboard Arabian Music Awards. We will be broadcasting the awards on the biggest network in the region, NBC. And we'll be also live streaming on their VOD platform, Shahid. Of the 15 performances, who do we expect to see? I'm not going to tell you tonight, but I can give you a couple of hints. It could be Shirin Abdel Wahab, or Shami, or Amr Diab. It could be Eliana, or Nancy Ajram, or Elisa. It could be Ahmed Saad. It could be all of them and more. So stay tuned with us. We have a lot to announce in the upcoming months. When we talk about bringing Billboard Music Awards to the region, we talk about bringing Billboard Music Awards from LA and everything that comes with it. 
This means it's going to be an award ceremony that's exceptional in its production. There's going to be an award ceremony that has a state of art design, a beautiful stage, a beautiful experience. I can't wait to take that selfie on the red carpet, and I know I'm going to see every one of you there, and I really look forward to it. Now, when we look about everybody who's here, we ask, okay, so what's in it for me? So I've told you what we've been doing, but now I want to tell you what you can do. The Billboard Music Awards is not a two-hour ceremony. So it doesn't start on December 11th at 7 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. The Billboard Music Awards is a journey. It starts in the pre-event coverage that we'll start doing, stuff that we'll be doing on our website, the category announcement that we'll be doing, the nominees that we'll be announcing, the fan activations that we'll be doing, the award news alerts, ticket sales, and brand activations. All of that will happen three months in advance as we build up to the Billboard Arabia Music Awards. During the ceremony, we've talked about the TV broadcast, VOD streaming, social streaming, social amplification, the award announcements that will happen on that night, and branded activations. And then when we leave, we're going to keep working. Post-event is going to be big because we're going to social recap the best moments and build the memories. We're going to talk about artists' testimonials, fan testimonials, performance releases, and branded activations. It's a conversation, it's a journey, it's a celebration of culture, it's a celebration of Arabic music. And what can brands do? A lot of things, really. There are so many moments in this journey, from the award giveaways that will be given out, to the red carpet moment and the glam of every single celebrity and person that will be there, backstage access to the award ceremony and the awards that will be given out in the backstage, social exposure that will be covering key moments from the award, chart sponsorships, because that's where the awards come from, from the charts dedicated website and on-ground activations that's customized to connect with your fans. 3,000 people that are going to be there and millions that are going to be watching. With that, I'm really, really grateful to SRMG and our CEO, Jumana Rashid. I'm really thankful to Mike and to all the support. Very proud of my team and very, very happy to be with you all today to celebrate this special moment. Thank you very much.